What's going on guys? Team Art here and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. Okay, here we go. Me. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. All right. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Bruh. Build sheltered beds for sanctuary settlers. We've already done that. That's so funny. <laughs> we we did that before in the last episode when we were first setting it up. Oh, look at him. He's playing with the ball. Hey, buddy. We're going <laughs> to we're going to take it from you so you can't use it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to I, I want to throw it. Is there an option to throw it? Let's go to our inventory here. Um weapons apparel aid. Where would it be? Would it be as a weapon? Probably not. Hey, oh, miscellaneous. Junk. Kickball. I guess drop. I wanted to throw it for him. Go get it, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Alright, like so that's pretty good. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. We've already done that. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Thanks again. Done. <laughs> Boys, we already did this way ahead of time. The game didn't even have to tutorial it for Sturgis. us. I feel better already. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. Some crops established. All right, I'll, I'll get started. Right Good deal. This one's actually kind of hard. We couldn't figure out how to do it last time. So we're going to go to our workshop. Uh, you guys can see we have no food. So we definitely need some food. So we're going to go to res Oop, not defense, resources, food. And then we have, like right here, it can be placed in dirt. Carrots. But you need, you need carrots and stuff. Like you need melons, potatoes, gourds. We don't have any of this. R1 tag for search. I don't know how to, like, do we have to go pick it up from somewhere else? Or how do we, like, how do we get a carrot or corn or potato or a gourd or a melon? I have no clue how to do it. Maybe if we look in people's, like, fridges and stuff? I'm kind of lost on that. If you guys know how to do that, let me know. That would be mighty appreciated. What's up? How you doing? This says can only be placed in dirt, but we can't... We don't have one to place there, so we need to figure that out. All right, cool. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and exit. We need to go to our uh, our next objective. Let's see what the next objective is. Um, click over here. Talk to the settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. We can go do that. There's our pup. Let's go, dude. Look at this guy. Just killing it. Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. Good advice. All right. Head into the objective, boys. Through the wasteland. Do we have any fast travel points that we can go to? Yeah. Go ahead and fast travel to the Museum of Freedom, and then from there we're going to make our way up to uh, Tin Pines Bluff. Robots tend to get more dangerous as they get more damaged. When both their arms are disabled, most robots will charge at an opponent while initiating a self-destruct sequence and explode in a fiery final attack. That's kind of terrifying. Dude, there's some weird stuff out in the wasteland. I'm not looking forward to, uh, to finding it. All right. We're back in Concord. Should probably, probably get a pistol out. What'd you find, buddy? What 
What is it? Oh, this? A safe? A no pins. way. We need bobby pins. What a good boy. A pipe bolt action sniper rifle? That's pretty sweet. A cap stash, Nuka Cola bottle. Oh, we probably don't need the bottle. Good boy. We need some bobby pins, though. That's kind of cool that he can do that. Pork and beans. <gasps> yes! Let's go, boys. All right. Cracking our first safe. All right. Lock picking. Adjust the bobby pin with L. Use R to turn the screwdriver. The spot you've chosen is correct. The lock will rotate and open. If the lock resists, uh, release R and use L to reposition the bobby pin. Boom, there it is, boys. Good nice. stuff. All right, 38 rounds, 10 mil rounds, pipe pistol, pre war money, shotgun shell, silver pocket watch. Cha ching! You're killing it, Cujo. We need to find a, a name for him. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. What's this over here? Is this a person? Is it a good person or a bad person? Hello, sir. Excuse me. Oh boy. You may want to keep your distance. Why? Are you threatening me? Nah, <laughs> nothing like that. It's just, well, I think I ate a bad can of meat. <laughs> okay. Maybe it was three cans. <laughs> Seemed pretty tasty at first, but now it's got my guts all in a twist. Oh and, man. Well, you can probably smell it from there. <laughs> Long neck Lukowski's canned meat my ass. Long neck Lukowski's canned poison more like it. Here, have the rest of it. I'm never touching the stuff again as long as I live. Assuming I live through the day. And if you happen to see that Lukowski, tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. God. Sorry. Dude's got the runs. Probably better if you get going. If it's anything like last time, it's about to get kind of messy. Oh, isn't that gross, Mr. Puppy Dog? All right, <laughs> he even was like gagging. Is there anything over here of interest? I see these crates. Usually crates have something decent in them. Nope. All right, dude, let's get back to the main road. There's creepy crawly stuff in the wasteland. We definitely could use a little bit more stamina, I'm not gonna lie. It's looking pretty rough out here. We get tired after about 10 meters. <laughs> All right. We're to crossroads, boys. So it looks like we wanna go straight and just kind of follow this. It's gonna take us right to where we wanna be. That looks interesting. I don't want to cause any trouble though. We really, we don't have too many weapons. Oh, one thing we should do. Let's go to our inventory. Weapons. We have that, uh, the sniper rifle we just got, right? Hunting rifle. Pipe bolt action sniper rifle. Let's go. So we're going to favorite this thing and put it over on our third one there. I think we also got some ammo for our pistol. Yep. Dude, that's sick. Let's go, boys. Starting to get an inventory. This thing looks battle scarred, doesn't it? That battle scarred op. Ooh. These ghouls? Shoot. There's more. 
Dude, look at him. Let's go, pup. Missed him. Does the dog have health? That's what I want to know. Stimpak dog? Oh, He does have health. That makes me so sad. Bottle cap, 38 rounds. Bottle cap. Gold plated flip lighter? That sounds pretty cool. I was wondering about that, like if he had health or not. It looks like he does. Pin in the file cabinet. Jesus, that scared me, dude. He's dead, I think. Maybe not. Being careful and saving, saving ammo, dude. There's more of them. Shoot. Dude, our dog's a badass for real. He had a baseball. Bottle cats. We need to stop taking all the junky stuff. We're taking a lot of junk stuff. Purified water. Loading dock terminal. Let's see if this has anything good. Uh, cargo. View cargo manifest. Ooh, we might be able to see what we can get. Drill parts. Steel rebar. Granite. Electrical wire. Oh, we needed that for the, um... We need the electrical, electrical wiring for some of the stuff we had in our base. I don't know how we would get it, though. Our dog's seriously a badass, though, dude. He, like, straight up... Dinner fork? We don't want that. We're gonna have to clean our stuff out. Where's the road? I think we lost the road, boys. Is it over here? He like grabbed that ghoul and he was like dragging him by his leg. What a baller, dude. Alright, whatever. We'll just we'll We'll travel straight across the wasteland. Who cares? Might run into some heebie jeebies, but that's alright. Get out of here. Come on, puppy. Let's go. Wild mongrel. Sit down, baby. Hey, wait there. Ooh. What does trade mean? Oh wow, we can give stuff to our dog. He's like an extension of our hey. inventory. How you doing, buddy? Oh. Hey boy, you know any tricks? Oh, good boy. <gasps> He's sitting pretty. That's hey. a good boy. How you doing, buddy? Hey boy. Think you can find something for me? See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. I haven't really messed with him. Dog didn't find anything. That's cool. I haven't really, haven't really messed with him on that kind of thing before. Oh, I, actually, I think we might be going up this way. We've got signs with arrows on them. Still learning the game, boys. Yeah, we have 154 shots in this thing. We were trying to be super careful and go for headshots and stuff like that. Good caps. Hello, sir. The only way you get old in this job 
Let's assume everyone's out to kill him. Look at that udder on this thing, dude. Holy cow. Alright. Where's our pup? I don't know where our dog went, dude. All right, we're up here at Ten Pines Bluff. Don't Hello, much sir. That place is nothing but trouble. Yes, yes, we found this dude. We got taters, bro. We got taters, taters for days. For our home, our home base. Oh, that's fantastic. Boom. I'm taking all the taters. Feel kind of bad. We just totally stole from them, but that's all right. Ooh, shoot. Stupid rad roaches, man. GTFO. Seriously, dude, where'd our dog go, man? Hello. Whoa, calm down there. I'm, hey there. I'm nice. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Um, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm here to help. I'm with the Minutemen. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Ooh. Is there something you need my help with? Whew. Yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Oh, I got you. I'll kick their asses for you. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, friend. Let's go. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Alrighty, guys. We're going to go kick some Raider Stronghold ass. Let's do it. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.